What's going on guys? Just got this Troy built uh, 2660 in. Um, it, it made by MT, MTD. Uh, a lot of models are similar. So what I'm about to show you is um, uh, the same for all, almost, almost all the machines. So what happens is, and I'll show you, when I put this in reverse one, I'll start it, put it in reverse one, and I'll hit the drive, and you'll notice that it goes forward. Um, it should be going in reverse. So that tells me uh, it's not adjusted properly. So I'll show you real quick. So it's in reverse, I'm hitting the drive, and it's going forward, all right? If I put it all the way to reverse two, then I get it to go backwards. So what that tells me is that uh, the cable adjustment is off and I have to flip it on its front end and adjust the cable down here underneath it. I'll show you how to do that now. So get on its front end. I like to take this, this cover off so I can see the drive gear. So I know that I'm uh, putting it in the right position. These are 3 8 bolts. Pull down on this, pop it off. All right, some grime underneath here. So this is your drive plate and this is your uh, drive wheel. So this, this is always spinning. When you engage, you pull that against this, which drives your wheels, all right? So what I'm looking for is when this is in reverse, reverse one, this should be on the other side of that wheel on the, on the center line. It's basically right at, at, at middle. So I got to get that over a little bit further. And then that would be reverse two. And then this is first gear, which is going way too fast. So I'm going to put it all the way down to six. So I get a little bit of slack on here. So then I need to loosen the bolts right here. So these are seven sixteenths. Okay. Is I need to get a little bit of pressure on there. All right. So I'm going to try to move this over slightly and just tighten that down with a little bit of tension on. So now when I go to reverse one, I'm on the other side and reverse two, I'm a little bit further. So I probably could go even, even more. I'm gonna loosen this again. I'm gonna go over a little bit further. Tighten that. So there's reverse one now. Sorry, bad view. So what I did was you saw I loosened I loosened that, pulled that tighter. Now I'm getting the wheel on the opposite side of the, the drive plate. So now it's in reverse one. I should be going in reverse now. So if I go to reverse two, it's even further over on that plate. So that's gonna make it go backwards, all right? So let me tighten this down real good. Back it up here. I won't put the plate on yet because I wanna make sure that it, it does what it's supposed to. So let's get it started. Again, I have it in, I'm gonna put it in reverse one. Now it should drive backwards. And then it should go forward and reverse uh, forward one. There we go. All right, so now it drives backwards in reverse one. It drives forward in, in forward one. And uh, that was, that was all the problem was. So hopefully you guys saw that, um, like I said, we put it all the way down to sixth gear. Okay, so it's all the way over. We loosen this bolt up. We crank this over to the right as far as we could go while it was still just putting a little bit of tension on there and then tighten it down. You could see where the old mark was with the, the nut. And then I moved it over maybe quarter to a half inch. And now we're getting the plate in the right position. You wanna make sure you keep this plate nice and clean. You're gonna get some rubber on there. Um, I usually hit it with a little bit of a uh, brake cleaner, wipe it off. 
you don't want any oils on there. You want to keep this nice and lubed so that the gear shifts nicely. And uh, otherwise, that's about it. So I'm just going to put this belly pan back on and it's ready to go. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out my other videos. Appreciate it if this helps anybody. You know, make sure you hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.